Disclaimer, Disclaimer, the following, following film, film is a non-profit, non-profit fan made and fan run project. project. Super Paper Mario is owned by Intelligent Systems and Nintendo. Please don't sue. Today, I'll tell you the story of the Lost Book of Prophecies. This prophetic book was a mysterious tome filled with stories of future events. Of course, many people craved this book wishing to glimpse their futures. But no person, after obtaining this amazing book, ever found happiness. The reason? The book held frightful secrets not meant for people's eyes. That book came to be called the Dark Prognosticus and was sealed away. This is the tale of that forgotten book's last owner. It is a tale of love. Good morning, Luigi. Morning, bro. Sure is peaceful today, eh, bro? Bro, don't you ever feel like our life is getting a little boring? What do you mean? We fight Bowser, save the princess. Fight Bowser, save the princess. It's the same adventure over and over. That's not true. Remember that time you got kidnapped? Yes, I remember. It's a me, Mario. What? Again? Okay, we'll be right there. Wow, this is taking longer than I expected. Can I get you like a sandwich or something? Okay, Bowser, let's get this over with. Okay, guys. Hello. It's no use, Mario Brothers. You'll never get the to. The on the other side of the bridge that you installed that drops you into a pit of lava? Why would you even install that? It's for safety reasons, okay? How is that safe? Look, it doesn't matter. You're never gonna- Wait, what are you doing? No, no! Don't you dare press that button! Wait, why didn't it do any- Greetings, friend. friend. Count, Count Black. Who's Count Black? I am Count Black. The destroyer- uh, I mean, let's not talk about Count Black right now. No, this is your wedding after all, isn't it, Lord Bowser? Look, I don't know who you think you are, but there is no way that I am marrying Bowser. Count Black does not have time for this. Er, do it. <laughs> do you take Bowser to be your lovely wedded husband till the end of our existence? Yes, I do, Master. Splendid. Do you, Bowser, take Peach to be your lovely wedded wife till the end of our existence? If I get to take over the kingdom... The blackening has begun! <laughs> the legendary hero has finally arrived, just as the prophecy foretold. What's your name, young hero? Why, it's a me, Mario. Welcome to Flipside, a town built in between nowhere and everywhere. And you are... My name is Merlin, and I am the mayor of this fine town. What am I doing here? Allow me to explain. Do you see the gathering darkness in the sky? You mean that weird swirly thing? It's a rapidly growing dimensional rift in the omniversal fabric of everything. By the end of today, it will have consumed reality itself. Mamma mia! All of this was predicted in the dark prognosticus. Fortunately, there is also a light prognosticus. All of this can still be prevented. What's a prognosticus? Now the light prognosticus tells of a legendary hero from a land of mushrooms, a mustachioed man in red. Well, I am sort of the local hero back in the mushroom kingdom. Well, now you can be an omniversal hero. We just need the rest of the eight pure hearts. The eight pure what? This is one of the eight pure hearts. Oh. You'll have to find the others on your journey to the void. Once you find all of them, they will merge together to form the Purity Heart, which you'll bring to the void and use to save reality. My name is Tippy, and I will be your assistant. What do you say, Mario? Let's go! According to the prophecy, we must find the Flip Wizard so that he can grant you the power of hyper. Did somebody, somebody say, say hyperdimensional, hyperdimensional travel? travel? Are you the flip wizard? 
My name is Bestovius, and I can bestow upon you the power to flip between worlds for a minor fee of 10,000 gold coins. But I don't have 10,000 coins. These legendary heroes always try to trick people like me into giving them powers for free. But since the world will end if I refuse, here you go. Woohoo! <laughs> the void has been ripped to the dimensional fabric. Nerds come to me. Now all that remains is to destroy the hero of the prophecy. Should I send in Agent L? Now hold on just a second. Do you really think we need to risk our most valuable team player? He hasn't even had his training yet. Indeed. Send someone expendable. Someone we can afford to lose. Sir, I think I've got just the guy. Brilliant! <laughs> Your hood is somewhere in this dimension. I can sense its presence from a distance. Gah! Google! So yada the wee lad sticking his stashy in me boss's business! I have no idea what you just said. Oh, chunks is me name and pain is me game. One word from me, boy, and I come to make you feel some image. Did he just say hammy? I think he wants to fight. This would be a good opportunity for me to train you in the ancient martial art of time-based battles. He did what? Beat him all the way to death before he realized it wasn't even the hero of the prophecy. Just an innocent bystander. What an idiot. No matter! Send in the Master of Disguise! You mean... Yes, I mean Mimi. Already on it! Brilliant Disguise! Mimi, report to your battle station! Right away, sir! Sorry I'm late, what did I miss? Nothing! Warning! Yeah. Leave immediately or be purged! Mamma mia! Wait! Scan initialized! Red hat detected! Blue overalls detected! Level 5 mustache detected! Incredible! Possible subject identification! But it is impossible! Hold your position! Searching data banks! This colossal mechanical beast appears to be an ancient security system! Search complete! One positive match! System overload. Legendary hero confirmed. So you're not going to eat me? Forgive me, hero. My only purpose is to defend the pure heart from lawless intruders. I have waited 1,500 years for your arrival. No, oh, it won't be that easy, oh no. I've heard that voice before. I am error. Press any key to restart. What in the system not found? Insert install disk. Disk not found. Please confirm disk cover is closed. Read error. Insert boot disk and press enter. Application error. Save your work and quit. You lost everything. Way to go, genius. Control, alt, delay. Ow! System crash. I have malfunctioned. What have I done? Hero, hero, the error is mine. I am sorry. Shame circuit, smoldering. Please, you must save our world. Well done, heroes. Has the legendary hero finally arrived? Um, yes? It's a me, Mario. My name is Merlumina, and I have waited 1500 years to give you the pure heart. Merlumina, author of the Light Prognosticus and co designer of the Purity Heart. Are you still alive? I am what 
is known as a dormant soul. Okay, so can we have it? Before I give you the pure heart, I must tell you a story. Listen closely, for this is an important plot point. Okay. It all started 3,000 years ago. But after the pixel uprising, the warrior knew the book was dangerous, so he went into hiding and eventually founded the tribe of... Unfortunately, the prophecy would only work if we divided the purity heart into eight. So I told Merlu I didn't know it was his sandwich, but he... And that is why only the legendary hero can harness the power of the purity heart. What? Oh yes, the purity heart. Thank you, I won't let you down. Whoa, whoa. We're all going to die. I remember that day well. The room was warm. The whole place was at peace. Are you alright? Well, where am I? Is this a human's home? Blech. I found you at the bottom of the cliff, so I took you home with me to help you get better. Well, what? You took quite a fall. I don't repulse you. I'm of the tribe of darkness. Why would that matter? Anyone with a heart would not ignore an injured soul. That was the day our paths crossed. That day, that was the day our tragedy was set in motion. Welcome back, my friends. Did you find the second pure heart? Well, as a matter of fact, we found the purity heart. What? No, we didn't. That's still just the second pure heart. Why? Uh, but, but I thought that she said... Uh, you fell asleep halfway through her story. The last thing she said was about the purity heart, so you must have just assumed that she was giving you the purity heart. Oh, well, at least we have the second pure heart. Well, anyway, there, there is someone here to see you. Peach? Peach. Mario. What are you doing here? I'm still not entirely sure, but I think I remember there was this guy in a top hat and a monocle who called himself Count Black, and he tried to make me marry Bowser. Does the prophecy say anything about a wedding? A fair and lovely princess. A furious monster king. The union of these two will call forth the Chaos Heart. The consumer of worlds. And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky, and so bring forth the Void. Wait, so I did marry Bowser? I I'm afraid so, yes. But all of this can be undone. You see, the next Pure Heart rests with the mysterious Merle. And with the help of this Pure Heart, Tippy should be able to access her dimension. Find Merle's mansion, and you will find the next pure heart. Hello, hi, welcome to Merle's Mansion. My name is Mimi and I am Merle's handmaid. We're here for the pure heart. The pure heart is just down the hall to the right. and so long. 
lovely mistress of the house, you see. It's me, Manny. Um, we're here for the pure heart? Ah, oh, yes, of course I know the pure heart for Mario and Co. How strange. This pure heart isn't giving off any energy at all. That is not the real me. I am elsewhere, don't you see? Wait, this isn't my Voices all inside your head. Pay attention to me instead. Merle can come up with a rhyme for any word, correct? Indeed. What do you need? What rhymes with orange? No, it doesn't. No, I mean, do you know any words that rhyme with orange? Orange rhymes with, um, uh, well, it rhymes with, uh, uh... Oh, I give up! Only the real Merle could rhyme anything with orange! Storage, door hinge, porridge... Whatever! You wanted things to get ugly? Let's get ugly. True me come forth. <laughs> Well, you found me, the real Merle. What was that thing? I'm afraid that evil freak was too robust and I too weak. But now you're here. Hooray! This bad tide will turn today. Hey, who turned out delights? Annual Lex My Merle Game Show. How are you folks doing? I never signed up to be in a game show and I'm not even 60. How did we get here? All right, let's get going. You're going to ask these two Merleys a total of five questions. Listen closely, because at the end, you're going to pick the real one. Okay, what is your favorite color? Sky blue. It's true. Mine is orange. It rhymes with door hinge. Okay, what's your favorite food? Strawberries. Oh, yummies. Tangerines. That, that was a terrible rhyme, by the way. Tangerines. That's my scene. What's your favorite animal? A baby bear, I swear. An adorable little demon, all sweating and steaming. It's the one on the left. Now, now hold, hold on, on just, just a, a second. second. You, you haven't, haven't asked, asked all five, five questions, questions yet. yet. The one on the right said her favorite animal is a demon. There is no way that's the real man. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, but you, you have, have to follow, follow the rules. The rules. You, you agreed, agreed to this when you signed up to be on the show. None of us ever signed up to be on this show. What, we don't even know who you are. I'm going to have to agree with the spider on that. I'm the real Merle. Your favorite animal is a demon. Just, Just ask two, two more, more questions, questions and then pick, pick one. one. You're not, not making, making this easy. Okay, fine. What's your favorite movie? The Super Mario Brothers movie. The original live action Super Mario Brothers movie. Wait, there were movies about me? In other dimensions, yes. You have a Brooklyn accent in both of them for some reason. What's your favorite video game? Mario's Time Machine and Super Mario Brothers Wii. Okay, the one on the right is definitely evil. It's the one on the left. Correct! Well, I guess I should congratulate you by tearing you to shreds like stupid little confetti. It's time for a good old-fashioned turn-based battle. Wait, why can't we run away? And why isn't she attacking us? This is a turn-based battle. None of us can do anything until we attack it. And since there are three of you, you all get turns. Hopefully my magic may weaken her and win the day. Oh, cool! Princess Peach, do you have any special abilities? I can sing to her until she falls asleep. I'm sorry, are you serious? Duh. Oddly effective, because it fell asleep and lost its turn. Merle, you're up next. I think we might actually win. It should only take one more hit to defeat her. Princess Peach, care to do the honors? Mimi, yes, the pure heart's safe and evil's repressed. I sure am glad that's over. So the light prognosticus was read by you, yes? Well, I've read it, but they probably haven't. It was written there that I and my ancestors waited by the pure heart staying spry, but something wasn't written there, and of it you must be aware. What is it? There is another prophecy. A heart of chaos can only be destroyed by five of mystery. Five heroes unite, their hope burns forth light to shatter the walls of blight. Is how despair it dies, such is what we prophesize here in the home of the wise. Five heroes? Yes, and I am sure the two of you, Mario and Peach, you two, are the first of heroes true. Me? A hero? So then it falls to you to find the other heroes true. More heroes. Now, finally, let me be. I hereby do my sworn duty. Here, from me, it parts. Heroes, a pure heart.
you so long. Did something happen? Yes, my father caught me sneaking out of the castle. It wasn't easy sneaking out again after that. I was worried you wouldn't come. You are a strange girl. You know what I am, but you don't seem scared. I like you. Is that so wrong? Not at all. I like you too. Do you mind if I sit next to you? Please do, Timpany. Let's return to our conversation. I would love to know more about you. Well, that took longer than I'd expect. W what happened? There was some kind of giant demonic shape-shifting spider that broke into the mansion and pretended to be Marley. You'd have to see it to believe it. No, I believe it. I have heard stories of an ancient beast capable of assuming any form it desires. If the rumors are true, then the beast escaped from an ancient laboratory 3,000 years ago. Well, anyway, Merle said that there are actually five heroes of the prophecy, and that Paige is the second. Five heroes? Well, you better go find the other three. Don't worry, Merlin, we will. Oh, and by the way, while I was studying the light prognosticus, I noticed something that I hadn't seen before. It says that, in the end, a man in green will determine the fate of reality. A man in green? I wonder who that could be. Now on to the next dimension. That pure heart won't collect itself. I just caught a super rare pixelated butterfly. This is so high technical. I must bring it home. I can't miss this week's episode of The Grotus Chronicles. My friends at Digibutter.nu are going to freak when they get word of this find. Oh, hold on just a second, you. Where did he go? I don't know. Also, wasn't Grotus that guy who tried to take over the world? How'd he get a show named after it? Well, I guess this is a different dimension, but Tippy's been kidnapped. Oh boy, I'd sure hate to be that pixel right now. Who said that? Is the giant lizard gone? I think so, but even if he wasn't, you'd still be talking really loudly. My name's Barry, and I am very sorry for your loss. She's dead? Well, not technically, since pixels are immortal, but she's definitely never coming back. No one ever comes back from Fort Francis. Why not? Also, what's a pixel? Pixels are a rare type of ancient spirit created using the Dark Prognosticus 3,000 years ago. That lizard, Francis, he collects us and takes us to his big scary fortress. And he's got like a thing for butterflies. I hate to say it, but your, your friend is gone. How do we get to the fortress? Did you not hear what I said? No one ever comes back from Fort Francis. It's a suicide mission. Mario and I just fought off a shape-shifting demon spider. We can handle a fat lizard. Well, if you really want to get to the fortress, then here's what you need to know. A bunch of no-class jerks are holed up in this castle up ahead. It's not going to be easy getting past them, but if you press the big red button, then maybe something will happen. But don't! Okay? If you somehow get past those clowns in the castle, you'll see a lake where a giant scary sea monster lives. You're going to have to fight it to get past it. But don't! Okay. But if you somehow do beat the monster, then you'll see a giant tree on the other side of the lake. Climb to the top of that tree and you'll see a red pipe that takes you directly to Fort Francis. But don't! Okay, bye. They're gonna die. Who dares disturb the great- uh oh Are you getting a little tired of this, Bowser? What, Mario? How did you even get here? Well, you see... So how did you get here? Honestly, I have no idea. One minute, Princess Peach and I were getting married. It was the best day of my life. Then the next minute, BAM! Me and my army wake up face down in the middle of this field. I found this awesome castle and I thought, Hey, why not make myself a lair? Well, you see, Bowser, the thing is, we could really use your help. Why don't you come with us? No, no way, no. There's no way I'm helping Mario. We don't have time for you to be a big baby about this, Bowser. If you don't come with us, then the world will end. No, I don't wanna. But Bowser, I don't think you have much of a choice. But, but 
but I'm Bowser. I'm the bad guy. I'm gonna take over the world any day now. How are you going to take over the world if there's no world? That is a very good point. Please, Bowser, for me. Uh, fine, but you should know I resent this. Oh, thanks, Bowser. You're so sweet. No, I'm not sweet. And I'm not doing this just to be a hero. I'm only doing it so that I can rule someday. Now let's go get your stupid precious heart, or whatever you call it. Yes, yes, it's totally undiscovered pixel species, yes. I shall name it Francine. I must document it, my precious. This must be the sea monster that Barry warned us about. He doesn't look so tough. Let me at him. <laughs> Nothing's coming out. Why won't anything come out? I can't move. Why can't I move? I think this is a turn-based battle. What the heck does that mean? It means we all take turns attacking it, and then it gets to attack one of us. Why doesn't it just attack us right away? I honestly don't. Well, that just sounds like a lame excuse not to have epic fight scenes. Anyway, let's -a do this. Now he shot a squid at me. The giant squid attacked you using a second smaller squid? You saw what happened. I think we won. Is it done? No, it didn't work! That stupid hero won! And the princess was with him as well! I see. So our hero is real. Yes, a force to be reckoned with. The starter, the prophecy. Consult it and learn where the hero will go next. You gotta forgive me! I failed ya! I've never felt less chunky in my life. Have you finished that thousand page apology essay? Uh, you see, I, I just got a wee bit left. Don't talk to me until you finished it. Hey, how come Mimi doesn't have to write one? Because Mimi, at least, knew who to attack. But, God, oh, this really tweaks me chin hairs. Oh, so chunks, calm yourself. Take a time out. Now who shall Count Black send? Count Black? Thinks he shall send Dementio. I am never climbing a tree again. Out of all the obstacles that Barry mentioned, I was not expecting the tree to be the toughest one. So this is Fort Francis. Oh, oh no, no, my, my friends. friends. You, are you are in Dimension, dimension D. D. A, dimension a dimension of my, of my own creation. creation. There's that voice again. I am a humble servant of Count Blick. Master of dimensions, pleaser of crowds. I am Dementio. Humble servants usually don't call themselves the pleaser of crowds. It is truly enchanting to finally meet my helpless victims. In this mind-bending realm, my attacks become 256 times more potent. I could obliterate you with the raise of an eyebrow. Then stop being such a wimp and do it! As you wish. Oh, yeah. oh, I actually did- Wait, why didn't that kill me? Can you pierce this? Illusion. Illusion. You get the one on the left, I get the one on the right? Okay. Ow! Ow! It appears this dimension has also made you 256 times stronger, rendering it useless. Until we meet again, ciao! Lamest villain ever! I think we're here! Fort Francis. Hmm, a little more, perhaps? They are very strong, to be sure, but they must be stronger yet to defeat Blick. I must make sure they can face him when the time comes at last. <laughs> oh, Grotus, you crack me up sometimes. <gasps> Intruders, what, what do I do? The <gasps> Princess Peach? Wait, how did you... I guess that's just my... What have you done with Tippy? 
Princess Peach, I never thought that I would meet you in real life. And let me just say that I am a huge fan. Oh, well, thank you, but I'm not here to sign your autograph. I'm here to save my friend. Would you be interested in going on a date? I'm sorry, but I'm already dating Mario. Now, can you please give hey, us back? I know that we've just met, but I have something very important to ask you. Will you marry me? What? You know, I'd rather marry Bowser. So you're saying I got a chance? Well, Princess Peach, please marry me. I am such a nice guy. You don't even know me yet. Which is exactly why I don't want to marry you. But you will never know if you do not give me a chance. Well, that was easy. Mario. Tippy. You, you guys came to save me. Of course. We'd never leave a friend behind. You could have just gone straight for the pure heart, but you wanted to save me. I wasn't paying attention. I thought we were just going straight for the pure heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm so happy. Whoa, where'd that come from? It's like her heart just burst with happiness and released a pure heart. And rainbows and unicorns. Mario, I was just so happy when I saw that you'd come to save me. Please take it. And that is how the ruffians managed to best me. Oh, Nastasha. I think it's time we set him on these pests. Yeah, um, that can be arranged. Splendid. Return to your posts, my dear servants. Uh... Does something trouble you, Nastasha? Yeah, um, Count, there's still time. You can still change your That's mind. That's quite enough, Nastasha. We've already come this far, so we shall forge on. But you needn't stay by Count Black's side. You can depart with my blessing. Yeah, no, sir, I won't be doing that. My life is already sworn to you. It has been since the day you saved me from that cave. If that pleases you. Why, how very interesting. Nastasha and the Count have such deep conversations. Just what is our dear Count playing at? Ah well, I'll let him worry about that. I must attend my own projects. I see you've returned. You're halfway there. And who might this be? This is Bowser. I think he's our third hero. Do not tell my army about this. They would never take me seriously again. Wh wh why not? He thinks he's a big scary villain, but in reality he's just a big dork. Hey! So, Merlin, something very strange happened on this adventure. What was it? So, Tippy got kidnapped by this giant weird lizard. We followed the lizard to a big castle. And when we came to help her, the pure heart just appeared out of nowhere. Hmm. Interesting. I think that castle was once a dwelling of the ancients. It seems my ancestors have roamed far and wide in their dimensional travels. So Francis didn't even build Fort Francis? That's lame. Bowser, you literally admitted that when you woke up in that field, the first thing you did was steal a castle. Yeah, but I didn't name it after myself. So that's where you draw the line. In the castle beyond the great sea, we hid a pure heart and sealed it safely. Yes, I remember reading such a passage in the Light Prognosticus. The seal could only have been broken by a powerful pulse of love and trust. So you think it was because Tippy started to trust us that we found this pure heart? That's amazing! And now there are three heroes. I do not know who the last two are, but waste no time in searching, my friends! Oh, please, come on, people! With me here, you don't need anybody else. Trust me, any problem comes up, I'll stop it into next week. I'll Bowserize it. <laughs> <laughs>
Well met, Mr. Bowser. May your strength and courage protect this group. Where are we? It looks like we're in the middle of outer space. Yeah, but what dimension are we in? What are you talking about? We're in space. Yeah, but obviously every dimension has its own version of outer space. They can't all share the same one or else they wouldn't be dimensions. They'd just be planets. I'm not entirely sure what dimension this is, but we're definitely in space. So, how do we get to the pure heart? Legendary Heroes Detective. <laughs> Purple Squeeple Squawk. So you're the ones looking for the pure heart? Cuter than I thought. Oh, how cute. Hello, little space creature. He's not that cute. I'm right here, you know. So you know about the pure heart. Squirps can't tell you much now, but you must trust Squirps. Now follow me. We'll Squirp our way to the pure heart. It's like Borbic, except Squirps invented it. Squirps, I can sense pure hearts, and we're not anywhere near one. I know, I just really have to go potty. I, I can't hold it anymore. Squirps, really. No, no! There's no toilet paper. Heroes, can you please do Squirps a favor and go find some toilet paper for Squirps? Please? Where are we supposed to find toilet paper in the middle of outer space? There's a space village up ahead. Maybe they have toilet paper. Everyone in the universe is gonna die because we can't find any toilet paper. What I have here is a detailed map of the dreaded space labyrinth known as the Woe Zone. I believe the X marks an ancient treasure. We'll buy it. Great! There will be 200 billion space coins. But, sir, we don't have any space coins. Well, then I guess you're not getting the map. Dude, you don't get it. If you don't give us the map right now, then the world will end today. Yeah, right. No, I'm serious. You know that big purple thing in the sky? It's gonna keep growing unless... Oh, what am I doing? Ow! Hey, give that back. We found you some toilet paper, but we need to move fast. I'm pretty sure the space cops are after us. Thank you. Our next stop is the dreaded space labyrinth known as the Woe Zone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why didn't you tell us this before we gave you a map of this place to use as toilet paper? Wait, where did Squirps go? Wait. Peach? Squirps! Ow! Well, 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 if it isn't the king of the Koopas. Where have I seen you before? The name's Agent L, but all my friends call me the Green Thunder. I guarantee you nobody calls you that. You don't need to tell me it's a cool name. I already know it. By the way, the L on your hat is backwards. You think I don't know that? Okay, let's just get this stupid fight over with. Prepare to feel the wrath of the man in green. The man in green? Where have I heard that before? Ow! You need to stop getting distracted all the time. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, you can't just dodge my attacks. Pretty sure I just did. Uh, why I oughta- Ow! Robot launch! No more messing around. Now for the pain! The gravitational laws of space allow robots' potential to be fully realized. Didn't feel a thing. What? Hey, you can't just dodge my attacks? Pretty sure I just did. Hey, robot, would you like a treat? Not so tough now, are you, tough guy? There you are, Bowser. We've been looking all over for you. What? The pure heart is just ahead. What? Oh, good. We're here. We're finally here. Squirps has waited 1500 years for this. Squirps is here. 1500 years? You're that old. 
Squirps is the prince of Squirpia, a once great kingdom. My true name is Squirp Corabeline Squirpina. You're a prince? Sorry for not telling. Squirps promise not to tell anyone. It makes Squirps a target. What happened to the kingdom? 1,500 years ago, Squirps' mommy, the queen, was told that a great destruction would fall upon the world. So mommy hid the pure heart in the woe zone, where no one could get to it, and Squirps was put to sleep in a hibernation capsule. Wow, that is just bad parenting. Squirps was meant to bring the hero here, to protect the world, and that is exactly what Squirps has done. But your home is gone. Where are you going to live? Squirps does not know. Maybe Squirps will return to the village on planet Blobule. Squirps has nowhere else to go. You're welcome to come live at Flipside if you want. Squirps cannot survive outside this dimension. I'm quite sorry. Thank you. Squirps will be okay. The Prince of Scorpia, Squirps, has a message from the Queen to deliver. I, Scorpina the 14th, bestow upon you the pure heart in hopes that you will save the world. Uh, thanks? What? What are you thinking? There's no possible way. No one would allow it. If they won't accept us here, we'll start a new life somewhere far away. What? Let's run away together. But why would you want to leave your whole life behind? Because I love you. Now we have five fuel hearts. This is turning into quite a collection. What well, I tell you, huh? You got the king of all evilness on your side. You can't go wrong. That said, we owe Squirps one for helping us find this pure heart. We should be grateful. Say, Tippy, something's changed about you recently. You seem a little more cheerful. It's a nice change. You think so? Well, ever since you saved me from Fold Francis, I felt really good. I feel like I could just hang around with Mario forever. What? But how did what? What just happened? All of you come to my house at once. Hurry now. It seems Tippy may be unable to maintain her pixel form for much longer. Her pixel form? What the heck does that mean? Well, you see, Tippy was not always a pixel. I found her in her human form long ago. Cursed to wander through dimensions forever. She was in constant pain, rapidly glitching in and out of reality. I had to do something fast, so I took a desperate measure. I used the magic of my ancestors to convert her soul into a digital format, a pixel, and thus Tippy was born. So where is she from originally? She had lost her memory, so I have no idea who she is or where she came from. All she could remember was her own name, and she wasn't even fully sure about that. That's horrible. However, I can't help thinking that she did not come here by chance. Fate connects us. Yeah, so anyway, we have a new recruit. His name is Agent L, but he prefers to go by the Green Thunder. I'm not calling him that! Wow, can't say I'm impressed by the minion quality here. No, you guys are like junior minions. Junior? Come here and I'll introduce you to Fist Junior and his wee pal Slappy! You lost as well, maybe you're the junior! I didn't lose, I was, I was scouting him. Yes, next time he shall know the true fury of the one and only Agent L, aka the Green Thunder. But enough about me, I need to head to the repair bay for robot modifications. L Ater. What, what does that mean? L Ater, it's like my catchphrase, like later but with emphasis on the L. That was terrible! Terrible! Don't ever do that again! Never again! Whatever! Uh, bye. I already hate him. <laughs> Though the man in red shall wield formidable power, one shall stand against him. The man in green shall use the Chaos Heart's power to bring darkness to all. So it is written. 
So what you're saying is, the man in green is our new minion in training, Agent L. What? That makes about as much sense as a beef and broccoli sandwich! Calm yourself, Oakshanks. Count Black has a new mission for you. Now that makes sense. This hero's got a hot date with me feet. Chunks away! Yes, I do believe I'll head out as well. Ciao. So poor little Mimi doesn't get to be in on the fun? This stinks! Yeah, I hate to seem like a whistleblower, but actually O-Chunks might not- Well, actually, even Dementio, Mimi, and Agent L might not be able to stop him. That hero is gonna collect all the pure hearts and come here. He'll come for you. All is according to plan, Count Black assures you. It's just weird. Nobody ever, um, loved the universe the way you once did, and now you want to destroy That's it. That's quite enough, Nastasha! If I could've just... Just what, Nastasha? Nothing, just... Uh, if I could've just been that other girl, you know, things would've been different. She cannot be replaced, Nastasha. You could not possibly hope to do so. Yeah, very sorry. I, I don't know why I said that. To be sure, she is gone. Gone from all worlds, never to return. I'm feeling much better now. Let's do this. Are you sure you don't want to stay back at Flipside? I'll be fine. This is no time to stay in bed anyway. And I, I want to be near Mario. Thank you. Quite a nice view from midair, but I can't quite sense the... Wait, midair. Whoa! Bro, you, you see people drop out of sky? Yeah, man, thought I was losing my crag. People shaped weird, huh? Hey, you're shaped weird. Wait, maybe people sent down to help by Big Rock Who Watches. What's going on? Servants of Big Rock Who Watches. You big boarders, we just gravel bits. What? Where in the world are we? This land of Kragnons. Me Kragnon, him Kragnon. This land of Kragnons. It not rocket science, bruh. Anyway, big bruh here is my mode. Chief of all Kragnons. Oh, great servants of Big Rock who watches. Kragnons having trouble down here. Serious. Bad. Big. Big danger. What happened? One day, freak plant people came. Nerd Kragnon named them Floro Sapiens. They kidnapped many Kragnon. We were peaceful, bruh. They give peace no chance. Rescue team of Kragnons. No needing to be rescued. We at end of rope. How do we save kidnapped Kragnons? No ideas come to Marbald, and we keep losing Kragnons. This bad, bruh. Kragnons must work this out, or Kragnons go ex extinct, bruh. Terrible. King Crocus returned. What? Village Kragnons kidnapped. Kragnons need help, bruh. Hey, check it out, man. Haven't seen these guys before. Yeah, totally, for sure. Must be some sort of, like, rare breed or something. Yeah, totally. We need a new pure heart polisher. Score! Mario, they are <laughs> Bowser. Why did you do that? They were about to kidnap us. They would have taken us straight to the pure heart. But they... Oh. Oops. It's okay. We'll just follow those Floro Sapiens up ahead. Coming to you live from the foul darkness that the Floro Sapiens call home. Lesser Kragnons would weep softly, for no Kragnon has ever set foot in this cave and emerged alive. But some make history with sheer gall and willpower. And Flint Cragley is such a man. Cragley ho! Into the Floro Sapiens Cave of Doom. A Flint Cragley Crag trotting adventure. No, no, wait a second, that'll never play well in the sticks. How about Cragley Ho? Taste danger. Flint Cragley versus a reincragnated mummy in Floro Sapien Central. I wonder if that'll test well with the weekend audience. Those Cragnons are fickle. Excuse me, sir. Cragley Ho! Suddenly, out of the cave mists, 
Mysterious, slavering creatures lurched into view. Did they hope to dine on a fillet of Cragley? Would our hero meet their mandibles? Tune in after this brief commercial break to reach our torrid conclusion. Great cut, Print Rapid. Now what do you morons want? What are you doing down here? Wait, so you guys are cavemen, but you have working television? It's another dimension, don't question it. We're looking for the pure heart. You're on a quest to find a treasure called the pure heart? Great, just great, fabulous. All time coincidence, that's what this is. Always nice to meet fellow adventurers. Listen, call me Flint. I'm a heck of a guy to know. Best crag trotter of our time. You might know me from Flint Cragley Crag Trotter, which airs weekly on Crag Vision. That's why I pretended to be kidnapped. I'm filming another epic show. Unfortunately, my idiot camera crew wandered off somewhere. Wait, so if your camera crew isn't here, then who are you talking to just now? The worst part is, they have the key that'll get us deeper into this infernal abyss. If you run into my crew, tell them I'm standing here, stomping impatiently. If it'll help us find the pure heart, then sure. Pure adventure personified thanks you kindly. Huh, that's where he is. Thanks, me head back now. But first, you see other Kragnons with Sprout on top of head? Fluorosapiens using Sprouts to mind control Kragnons. They see you, they attack. Don't let your guard down, bruh. Hmm, good thing I didn't let him kidnap us. Oh, so that where he was. He told Monzo, wait here, but Monzo bet he forgot one second later. Job of Monzo really lame. Thanks, bruh. Monzo head back now. In a miraculous turn of events, I was reunited with my faithful camera Kragnons. But there was no time for celebration. We had to swoop to the aid of the kidnapped. With danger nibbling at our heels, we ventured deeper into the forbidding cave. To do so, we used the key to the last unopened door in the Forsaken Labyrinth. So, um, you do have the key, right? Let me grab that. What? You cragging me? You never gave key. Oh. Hmm. Really? What? Key? Yes, genius, a key. Wait, don't tell me you don't have it either. Um, yeah, bruh, had key, but- Ah, so you do have the key. Good show, good show. Give it here, quickly. No, had key, but not have key. You- you lost it? A tragic crew blunder ruins Cragley. Had the gods of adventure forsaken nah, us? Nah, bruh. Cragley say, you lose this, so Cragley hold on to it. Cragley got key, bruh. Why, that's preposterous. If such a claim were true, then there would be evidence in my pocket, which there isn't. Wait. Cragley ho! A miracle struck! As if by magic, the long lost key had returned to my pocket. The cave had defied Kragnon comprehension. It was a place of purest miracles. Lucky turn of events finding that key. I'm sure everyone contributed somehow. Now onward, we must make our way to the last unopened door. If my research is correct, and it always is, then this key should open that door. Oh great, not this place again. Well, you see, when we were looking for- Oh, it's you again. Cabbage. Did he just say cabbage? It looks as if he's been brainwashed by the Floro Sapiens. Asparagus. Ah, why is it always me? Potato. I have an idea. Now we can attack him again. Bruh. Bruh. What? Oh, you alive. You stand there for 30 seconds without saying a word. We starting to get worried. Oh, well, that was weird. Do you guys all remember fighting the giant gorilla thing with a leaf on its back? Yes, we remember. Good, we all remember. Now let's keep going. The pure heart should be right down this hallway. 
<laughs> if they could beat that model of old chunks, then they are coming along quite nicely. Perhaps they really are the ones I have waited for all this time. I ought to prepare myself as well. So much to do, so precious little time. Ooh wee oo, where, oh where are my pretties? Beautiful things, ooh wee! Bring them to me, more, more, more! Are, are you a boy or a girl? Ew, what is this hideous clashing thing? Hey, why is everyone looking at me? Ooh wee oo, so you must be the intruders I've heard so much about. Well, I will not forgive the great trashening of my beautiful kingdom. No we o. You need to release those cracknels you've kidnapped. Never. Their sturdy bodies make them such fine workers. Exquisite. I need them to dig up more gems so they can build me a bejeweled palace. Ooh wee. Why how positively a horrid. Release them this instant. Trash is garbage, no matter how you dress it. This world was made for B-U-T. And if you need some proof, have a look at this. I can hear it in your voice. You want it so badly you can barely think, hmm? It seems we all seek beauty. So how dare you take a high horse over me? Don't compare us to you. We're nothing like you. Your blabber hurts my ears and your smell is wilting me. I can stand you no longer. I rarely stoop to such things, but I'll destroy you myself. Consider it an honor. Whoa, whoa, man, what did you just do? Oh, I don't know. Maybe just beat your king's pedals. Or queen, or whatever. Hey, shut up. You don't get it at all. King Crocus was awesome. He totally thought of his people first, man. What are you talking about? Water, man. We're talking about water. The Kragnons were polluting our water. Those dudes were tossing trash into the river and we had to drink that crud. That dirty water was what drove our king bonkers, don't you get it? Well, if you knew your king was bonkers, why'd you still listen to him? Of course, I knew it all along. Cragley Ho! Emergency special report from the Fluoro Sapien front lines. Environmental pollution drives Fluoro Sapiens mad. Whither will they rampage? I tried to tell those guys, but my thoughts were too far ahead of their time. This play well with green, Kragnon crowd. Ratings explode, bruh. It like crags on ice meet Baron Von Kragington. Yeah, water, man. It's like easily our most precious treasure. You guys promise not to dirty our water and we'll just chill down here and be cool. And we'll totally take those sprouts off your villagers' noggins, man. Sounds like a fine way to keep peace in the land. Keep those promises, folks. Yeah, wailing on our king aside, you guys are like totally heroes. You should take this. The stars are beautiful tonight. They truly are. In my village, we believe wishes on stars can come true. Oh, is that so? Well, in that case, we'd better get to wishing, don't you think? I don't need to wish anymore. Hmm? I have everything I need right here. Timpani, aren't you cold? I'm quite warm. Can we stay like this? Just a little longer. Alright, listen up. The Count left specific orders for us to stand by. Got that? So we're supposed to just wait for that big mean hero to come get us? No way! So the Count doesn't need my services. Excellent. I'll just be off then. You go nowhere. We wait. It's the Count's direct order. His words are absolute. Do not move until told. Okay, thanks. But I'm bored! <laughs> Hard to sit still when you pine for sweet vengeance, isn't it? Dementio? The Count's orders are all absolute, yes? Completely, without exception. We shouldn't even dare think about a sneak attack. Perish the thought. Defeating the hero would please the Count greatly. But we must follow orders. Uh, oopsie, I just remembered something really important that I gotta go do. Be back in a jiffy, bye! 
Yeah, um, I got to go deflavorize the robot's uh, flavorizer. I'll return once everything's up to code. Okay, L8 or Dementio. Ciao. Have you seen the sky lately? I imagine some worlds have already started to decay. I wonder how long our dear Flipside will be spared. Does the light prognosticus say anything about how long we have? The light prognosticus was only written to counteract the dark one, and as such, it's not truly prophetic. Therefore, it's hard to say how long we have. Are you telling me this whole hero thing is just made up? Well, yes and no. Think of it as an ancient instruction manual. Okay, I'm gonna pretend to understand that analogy. The void is even larger here. This world must be very close to destruction. Greetings, and welcome to Sammer's Kingdom. I am King Samur, ruler of the Samur guys. Greetings, your majesty. I'm not sure if you know this, but your world is ending. As a matter of fact, all of them are. My friends here are legendary heroes from another dimension. Do you happen to know how we can find something called a pure heart? If you truly are the heroes of the prophecy, then prove your worth by defeating all 100 of my Samur guys in 100 turn-based battles. Ugh, for the love. And once you have proven your strength, I shall reward you with the pure heart. But King Sama, have you looked at the sky? Your world could end any minute. Well, I could give it to you now since time is so short, but... Nah, fight a hundred guys. We better hurry. Why, Why not, not pause and savor the show? I sent something all too familiar, yet entirely unfamiliar. You, it is already far too late to stop, Count me. So you're the one who opened the void? The prophecy unfolds smoothly thanks to the chaos hurt. The light of each world will be snuffed out one by one. Why would you want to do something so unspeakable? You question, Count Black. This worthless world's destruction matters not. Far better for Count Black to wipe it out of existence than let it remain. How can you say that? That's, that's horrible. Count Black scoffs at you. An insignificant pixel lectures Count Black on what is right and wrong. This is not up for discussion. You're wrong and sick. All living things have a heart. They're all priceless. You can't just erase them. Of all things, you defend the heart. Nothing could be more worthless. All things are meaningless. Aside from Lady Timberly, no treasure ever mattered in the least to me. Timberly! Speak no more! This world is dying under the monocle gaze of Count Black. But don't let that stop you from trying to find a pure heart that you will never acquire. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings! I am the first Samur guy. Oh wait, no I'm not. I ate him. What the heck is that thing? Where's 
still alive, but what about Samur's kingdom and the pure heart? I may have an idea. You need it for what? Each pure heart is interdimensionally linked to the next, and right now the one we need is in a dimension that no longer exists, so... Hmm. No one's ever traveled to a non-existent world before. I, I highly doubt it'll work, but... You don't seem to have any other options. I think it worked. What is this place? Are we inside the void? We're not anywhere. This entire dimension is completely hypothetical. And right now, so are we. I don't see how the pure heart could have survived this. The seventh pure heart must be somewhere in this unreality. Otherwise, the sixth pure heart wouldn't have transported us here. You can sense pure hearts, right? I'm getting a very, very weak signal coming from up ahead. It's got to be at least a few miles up. Could that be? It's the pure heart. Or at least it was. How is the pure heart the only thing in this whole dimension that's still here? Pure hearts are some of the strongest objects imaginable. They're completely indestructible by any other standards, but it looks like the void is a different kind of standard. Hey, where's Bowser? <sighs> hey, hey, where'd you guys go? How about, How about that, that prognosticus? prognosticus? Anything, Anything the count, count doesn't, doesn't like? like? Poof! It never, never existed. <laughs> No, not you! The green thunder strikes like lightning! How did you get here? This place doesn't even exist! I used Robot's new Find My Enemy feature. I designed it all by myself. No, whatever! Oh, and by the way, Robot is now fireproof. Hey, that's not fair! Now I have nothing to attack with! It's not supposed to be fair! What do you think this is? Some kind of video game? Why can't I win? Looks like my shell is immune to Brobot's attacks. But Brobot certainly isn't. You laugh now, but the Green Thunder never forgets! I swear I've seen that guy before. <laughs> Did they wound your fragile pride, Agent L? Demolish your robot again? I'm stumped. You'd think a giant robot would be enough to crush at least one of these heroes. There's no way I can show my face to the Count after this. It's okay. You don't have to. Wait, how did you get- ah! Ciao. I do not feel the typical energy from this pure heart. It appears to be damaged beyond repair. The forlorn group of heroes, how they cry. Their tears flow like sad chowder. You! You know this guy? I can't tell who or what he is, but I can sense that he is dangerous. Extremely dark energy. Entire timelines gone. Entire civilizations erased from history. Looks like you need a good old fashioned Deus Ex Machina. English, please. <laughs> what just happened? What have you done with Timpani? I must see her. Still your tongue, Blumia. Can't you see you've been duped by a dirty human? You've brought shame to my name and to the entire tribe of darkness. And so what if I did? That doesn't matter to me. She's my entire world. Well, then it would interest you to know that she no longer resides in this world. What, what do you mean by that? What, what did you do? This is the price those who resist their own fate must pay, my son. Please, Someday no, you will no, see, no, my son. No, it can't be so. Our no, kind no, and no, humans no, no, must no. never mix. <laughs> wow! Well, wow. What in the... Mamma mia. Hey, a new face! So tell me, is this your first time down here in the underwear? Heh, <laughs> just a little joke. People don't arrive here twice. But I'm wearing clothes. Not the underwear, the underwear. 
This is where people go after they die. Some call it world negative one. I'm dead? So how'd you get here? Poison mushroom? Bad jump? Or did some big gorilla man just start beating the heck out of you for no reason? I don't know. Bro? Bro? Luigi! Mario! How did you get here? I don't know, bro. One second, we're about to beat Bowser and save the princess. The next second... Bro, Bluey, I wake up in whatever this place is. Come with me, bro. I'll tell you everything. So if good people go to the over there, then why aren't we in the... Oh no, are we bad guys? You go to the over there when your game is over. Somehow you are transported here while still very much alive. Besides, this place isn't for bad people, it's just for okay people. The worst are sent down to a prison below the river Twigs. We found your daughter. Oh, and by the way, this is my brother, Luigi. Luigi, this is Queen Jadies. I was looking for a handsome prince. Oh, love me, you had us all very worried. Mario, please accept this as a sign of my eternal thanks. Oh, you fixed it. I have power over life and death, you see, and I was able to use that power to restore this pure heart. I can also use that power to return you to your world if you so wish. Mario, you're alive, but how? You know my bro always bounces back. Like me, I bounce too. I'm Luigi, nice to meet you. We have the pure heart. That's amazing, I thought we were doomed. I'm also sensing a strange energy coming from this man. I think he may be our fourth hero. Mario and I always fight side by side. Yeah, so I just got a quick ping from Dementio. Um, apparently Agent L took on a hero fighting initiative. I accept full responsibility. It was my administrative breakdown that caused this. I see, remarked Count Blick. Well, what is done is done. This prophecy will not be fulfilled without sacrifice. Yeah, and also, uh, Mimi also left the castle. Did she now? Well, Count Blick will leave you to dispense the minion. Discipline. You seem a bit different. Count Black feels fine. Leave me, Mr. Could that pixel have been completely? No, no, completely impossible. Count Black should know that better than anyone. Besides, it's far too late to do anything now. The prophecy has been set in motion, and no one, not even Count Black, can stop it. No one can stop this now! Wait, what are we doing back here again? Do you have the next pure heart? The location of the pure heart is a matter of utmost secrecy, I'm afraid. There is nothing I can tell you. You'll have to speak to my husband, Granby, king of the over there. Mother, I'm ready to return to the over there. An idea strikes. Could you fine heroes take Luffy back up to the over there for me? You see, a monster has recently escaped from a prison cell in the deepest, darkest, dirtiest part of the underwear. I could never send my own daughter out alone with such a savage beast on the loose. We'll do it. Excellent. I'll let Granby know you're on your way. Oh, and by the way, there is one other thing. Well, where am I? Wait, Luigi? I feel like I've already seen you on this adventure, but I'm not exactly sure where. Well, that's weird. I think before I woke up in this place, I had some kind of crazy dream and you were in it. What is this place, anyway? You're in the underwear. What? No, I'm not. I don't even wear clothes. What he means is, this is the afterlife. Does that mean we're all dead? Well, not exactly. I'll explain to you on the way. Okay, fine. So, if this is the over there, then why is the void still here? Wait, does that mean... I'm afraid it does. If we fail this mission, then nothing will ever have existed in the first place. Father, are you okay? Love me! Save thyself! Is this the monster that Queen Jadies mentioned? Pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Bullchill. Transformed the pure heart into a nimby and called it his own daughter. What, what do you mean? That's, that's just silly, my mother and father. You really think Granby pays an ounce of attention to you out of love? No, that's not true, father. Say something. Love me. Uh, the old fool can weigh the sins of others, but not his own. <laughs> Love me, thou 
Thou art not verily our child. <laughs> and I thought Squirps had bad parents. The pure heart was always in danger of falling into the hands of evil. So, I transformed it into a shape no one would suspect. The pure heart doth struggle against the love be identity. It seeketh its true form. Okay, so I'm fake, and the only reason I even- Wait, why am I talking to you? You're not my real father! What? what? Talketh not to thy father that way. Dost thou not recall when I lingered by thy ill bedside? Please, give me back the present I bought with my allowance! Thou didst lie to get the money. <laughs> thou didst pretend to buy school books. How dare you lecture me? I'm lying! And why do you think I lied? I thought you would be happy, but you're not real parents. I, I hate you. <laughs> it is... True that I created thee as a means of protecting the pure heart, but over time we came to love you as a true daughter. We wanted to be with thee forever. Perhaps I was wrong to create thee, and if I only caused pain, I apologize. It's okay, Father. Oh, love me. Farewell, Father. Farewell. Blumia, my son, don't! Even your ancestors could not handle that dark book. If you open it, there's no telling what might happen. I do not care, Father. A world without her is meaningless. A life without her is meaningless. Speak. Dark Prognosticus, teach your dark history. I await your command. <laughs> what have you done? Silence! The first prophecy begins. I shall erase every inch of this blasted world. Blumia, don't do this! Blumia! Yes! No more! I am Count Blinken. Hey, Tiffy, snap out of it! What? I thought you'd gone back to town, but then I saw you just lying there, not moving, and then you just started screaming. It was kind of startling. I'm, I'm alright. Sorry for startling you. Who's Blumier? What? No, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. My friends, there is something I must show you. What is this place? It looks like a Flip side? Oh, 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 no! My friends, you are in flop side. Flop side? But I thought that place was just a myth. No, it's real, and the people of flop side all think flip side is a myth. Merlin, you knew and never told me. As the mayor of flip side, it is my duty to ensure that flop side remains a secret solely kept between Norum and I. My name's Norum. That's Merlin spelled backwards. Get it? So, Merlin, why did you take us here? Merlin and I are almost done reconstructing the purity heart. All we need is the final piece, the soul of the heart. We have it right here. Behold, the pinnacle of hyperdimensional technology, the purity heart. Merlin, there's something I need to ask you. Do we really have to kill Count Black to stop the prophecy? My dear, was there something between you and this Count Black? Uh, no, nothing yours, nothing. I I'm fine. 
Ippy, I do not know what is on your mind, but if this is too hard for you, if your memory returns, please feel free to stay behind. No, I'm going. I need to do this. Besides, we still haven't found the fifth hero. Tippy, you've changed so much. You've grown so strong. So, please be sure to return safely to me after this is over. What? Despite the Black did utter disbelief. Surely this news cannot be true. The heroes still live? <laughs> I'm afraid so. In fact, they'll be here before long. What? Is that true then? What are we doing twiddling our biscuit here? Let me go throw them a nice welcome party. I'll bring the punch. I want a party with those party poopers too. Wait up, old chunks. Well, I'm not one to miss a party. But wait just one moment, dear Count. Does the name Blumier <gasps> ring a bell? Where did you hear that name, Demetrio? Oh, the mustache man's pixel went on and on. She said, We need to stop Blumier. But I suppose there's no reason to pay any mind to the ramblings of a pixel. Ciao! Yo, Black, if that pixel really is who you think it is, if it's really her and she's really alive, there's still time. You can oh, still no, stop it. No, not what you are saying, Nastasha. The prophecy can no longer be stopped by Count. Blick. No one can stop it. But Blumier, there has the to be a way to. known as Blumier died long ago. No, there is only Blick. The dark prognosticus has tries to fulfill the prophecy. Nothing more. I never thought you'd make it here. Ah, oh, great, not this clown again. How dare ya! You. You're gonna pay for that one, you bloomin' donkey! Not a donkey, you dollar store donkey Kong. No, I'm gonna you. have to hit you with the full force of me chunks. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that now, were ya? Where does your flapping mouth now? Chunks away! Bowser, are you okay? I'm fine. Now let's kick this stupid guy's stupid butt. <laughs> Oi, what you doing? I'm trying to get you to fall asleep. What? That's never to go. Boy, it is growing stronger. I can feel it. Craigly, how? A mysterious storm approaches, inflicting a sense of impending doom upon all of the Kragnons, and we're all gonna die. And there is no Big Rock who watches! Everyone stop worrying about the void. It is a hoax made up by the dimensional government. Please, heroes, do not let our daughter's sacrifice be in vain. I'm sorry, Chunkier than I. You're not but a blooming turtle. Um, Bowser? We don't have much time. We need to keep going. I wouldn't worry about Bowser. I'm sure he's survived worse than this. You'd think an evil supervillain would take better care of his lair. It's almost as if the void is destroying the castle as well. I mean, why would he let it destroy his own home? What sort of evil plan is it if he dies in the process? So it really is you, Blumia. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Alan. You finally arrived. Alan, what are you doing here? I found a fascinating passage in the Light Prognosticus, so I rushed here to tell you. To get to Count Black, you must hit this totally unsuspicious floating block. So why not give it a jolly old whack? Spider? Huh, what spider? Yeah, princess, what spider? Yes, we're doing this the whole time. 
The end is almost here. What? Where am I? Who's Luigi? I have been watching you and your fellow heroes. You truly are the only ones who can stand up to Count Blick. So I have a favor to ask you. Will you help me destroy him? You want to betray the Count? Betray him? <laughs> no. It is the Count who has betrayed me. He promised us he would destroy all worlds and create a perfect one in their place. But he was lying. He plans to annihilate all existence, including the void itself. There won't be anything left to start from. But why would he do that? Wouldn't that kill him too? I have always known about his nefarious goal, but I could never hope to stop him on my own. So I feigned loyalty to him as I searched for someone who could defeat him with me. You're asking me to help you save the universe? Wait, are you the fifth hero? I am no hero and I will not save the universe. I simply wish to use you to create a perfect reality all to myself. Okay, so what's in it for me? Absolutely nothing. You see, I'm not really asking. What? Mario? Mario? What? What happened to Peach and Luigi? Mario, I'm so sorry. They're gone. Oh. We have to keep going. I'm sure it's what they would have wanted. <laughs> You're right. We need to do this. We need to stop Blumia. I see you've come at last. So you really are the hero of the night prognosticus. But you are far too late to stop the Dark Prognosticus and me, Count Blick. I suggest you make yourself comfortable and enjoy this one final spectacle. But why do you really want to? Why would you do this? How could you do this? Count Blick does not care about any world. They are all meaningless. Better that I destroy them. Better yet. I shall make it as if they never existed in the first place. If the worlds have no meaning, does that mean the day we met was meaningless as well? Answer me, Blumia! You know the answer, dear Timberly. Count Black does not have to tell you, but the hour has grown too late. You should know that by now. Blumia, the only way we can stop this is to defeat you, and that is exactly what Mario and I are here to do, to stop this. Very well. But I will also do what I must. Count Black is the deleter of worlds. My fate is written in the dark prognosticus. Do not think for a moment that I will hesitate to strike you down. All now ends. Premier, this isn't you. Are you prepared, hero? Our duel will be worthy of the last clash the world will ever see. I'm sorry, Blumia. Mario used the purity heart. It's not doing anything. Maybe its power has already taken effect. Try jumping on him. Is that all the heroism you can muster? Let me show you true power. What? <laughs> What's happening? I think he just erased most of you from existence. I expected more potency from a hero of prophecy. Is this the end? Oh, come on, you're giving up already? Bowser? Peach? Luigi? You're alive? I fell through the floor before I got flattened by the seal. I fell through too, landed right on Bowser's head. I don't know what happened, but the princess found me out cold. But we're all here now, so let's do this. <gasps> Woohoo! I'm a back. Five heroes unite, their hope burns forth light to shatter the walls of blight, just like Burly said. But who's the fifth hero? I think it's Tippy. But Tippy hasn't done any fighting. Um, Count Timpany, thank you. You have defeated Count Black. Now all you have to do is finish me off. The Chaos Heart will disappear and the prophecy will be undone. But Blumia, does it really have to end like this? Timpany, uh, after you went missing, I searched long and hard for you. I never gave up looking. I searched and searched, but I never found you. I guess all that searching drove me mad. I 
used the forbidden prophecy of the ancients to wipe out all existence. I wanted to destroy the cruel reality that had taken you away from me. In hindsight, it was a terrible decision. But I'm here now. It's too late. Count Fleck has already done so much evil. It must end. Just, just knowing that you're still alive and the world that you live in will continue, it gives me peace. But we're finally together again. Oh, look Nastasha! Silly assistant, absorbing my attack to protect him? What an adorably hopeless gesture. Hey, you're the Execute that. Command L. I am Agent L. Press any key to restart. Agent L is loose. Hey, hey, G give that back. No? Quack! According to the Dark Prognosticus, the man in green is the ideal host for the power of the Chaos Heart. After I obliterate this reality, I'll create a new timeline. A more simplistic one. There won't be any more unique characters or unfamiliar adventures. No more complex morals or intricate lore. Just... Paper. Many thanks for wasting your pure hearts on Count Black. Now neither of you can stop me. I'll squeeze the life out of you later. You just wait over in that dimension. Okay? Great. Ciao! There's nothing we can do. Without the pure hearts, there's no way to counter the chaos heart. All we can do is give up. Lemia, what are you saying? How can you think it would end like this? After all we've been through, we found each other because we stayed alive. How can you admit defeat? I'm sorry, Timpany, but there's just... there's just nothing we can do. Lemia, snap out of it. You are the one who started this. The least you can do is try to end it. That's right, Count. Wow, you look different. Mimi? Oh, Chunks? How did you get here? Nastasha told us you'd come here. Or she said she felt you'd be here. Or something along those lines. N Nastasha? Talk about going the extra mile. She even sacrificed herself to save you. Listen, I promised me life as well, and I'm not afraid to live up to it. You gotta let me help. There's no way Dementia was getting away with this. She played a real dirty trick, but we'll always stay by your side. My, my loyal servants. What's this? The pure hearts? But why? Isn't it obvious, Premier? Pure hearts are the very feelings of ourselves. As long as we feel love, they live on. How cliche. I'm sorry, Bowser. Did you want to die in the void? This dimension is ending. Everyone come with me. <laughs> Place. The man in green truly is a perfect match for the Chaos Heart. Dementio is now completely indestructible, even against pure hearts. So, what are we doing? The only thing we can do. We will use the pure hearts to banish the Chaos Heart itself. All we need is a powerful force of long-lost love, which just so happens to be something I am lucky enough to possess. Oh, good. But with the Chaos Heart gone, the pure hearts and those linked to them, Timpany and I may cease to exist. What? You mean you might go away? But, but I don't want you to go! All of this is my fault. The price is mine to pay. I don't have long to live anyway, but you, Timpany, it pains me to know that this might kill you too. Still, there's no other way to end this. I understand. Timpany, uh... Don't say another word as long as I'm with you. Nothing else matters. There were so many things I wanted to say to you, but I couldn't find the words. Oh, Blumia, only one thing matters to me now. Do you still love me? Of course. I've thought about you every day since you disappeared. But I've caused you so much suffering. Perhaps my life would have been more carefree if we had not met. That is true. But I still love you more than anything in the world. And I love you, Timpany. Hundreds of thousands of years from now, that fact will not have changed. Merlin, wake up! The void is gone! I knew you could do it, Tippy. 
Craig Leho. The swirling vortex in the sky is gone. Everyone's alive and everything's gonna be okay. I'm so sorry I doubted you, Big Rock Who Watches. Monzo quit job. What? Me quit too. Life too short, bruh. We're alive! Isn't this great? But I don't recall giving them the pure heart. I think I got eaten by a spider. You earn this, Dementio. Now let's get started on that. Timpany, you, you look beautiful. Do you remember that place we always fantasized of running away to? The place where we could be happy together and everyone would accept us? Would you like to go there now? Timpany, uh, of course. That's, that's all I've ever wanted. Wake up. Um, what? Wake up. Wake up, bro. Well, what, what happened was, was I a giant robot? All worlds have been saved. The prophecy has lost its power, and thusly the world that was lost returns to normal. You've done well, heroes. It is all thanks to you. And Tippy. I see this too must have been under the guidance of the pure hearts. Is Tippy at Count Black? God, I wonder what could have happened. I shudder to think about it, but surely when the prophecy was nullified... Um, no, they're alive. What? They overcame time and fulfilled their old vows. Somewhere, at some point in time, the Count is living together with Tippy and, um, happiness. Yeah, and I, um, yeah. <laughs> no, no! Count, no! I'm all alone! <laughs> no. We still have each other. We can still build the Count's world. So come on, big smile. Uh oh, Chunks. Mimi, you're you're right. I can't just cry like this forever. The Count would never have approved. We need to create the ideal world that the Count wished for in his heart. A world of love, not war. Farewells are bittersweet. But as long as you live, you cannot escape them. To feel sadness is to live. But as long as you are alive, the future is a blank page. And with that, I am hungry. I've asked the local chef to make some of her celebrated snacks for us. Let us heal our weariness by devouring a banquet of delicious sweets. Well, that certainly was a new adventure. Was it? I barely got to do anything. You know, we should hang out with Bowser more often. He seems like a cool guy once you get to know him. Maybe we could all go car tracing sometime. That sounds like a good idea. Good night, Luigi. Good night, bro. So the dark prophecy was averted and peace reigned. The dark prognosticus, again, faded into history. Count Blumier and his love, Lady Timpany, both vanished. Where did the pair go? None know. And so the story of the lost book of prophecies comes to an end. May we meet again in another time and place.